Hey there, YouTube. It's Math Boy. Welcome to this wrestling autographed 8x10 photo purchase recap that I purchased from a company called ATD Promotions. They do a lot of wrestling signings in the eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania area. And he was blowing out a lot of his excess supply. And I went ahead and bought 18 autographs. Some of them are multi-signed, so I got over 20 autographs. So this is in no particular order. It's just, yeah, let's just go right into it. We have Harvey Whippleman, whom I remember very well as a manager. I watched the WWF, then e, now E, back from 1988 to 2001, religiously watched them from 89 to 2001, and ECW also from 95 to 2001. So... Yeah, I remember him as a manager and him winning the WWF Women's Champion. What the heck? <laughs> oh, that's great. And oh my gosh, this just made the whole purchase totally worth it. We got the BWO, the Blue World Order. We're taking over Hollywood Nova, Big Stevie Cool, and the Blue Guy. So that's an awesome piece. How did I not put that on top of the pile here? That's okay. So we got, we're going to jump into WCW for a moment. The Shockmaster, also known as Tugboat from the WWF days. And yeah, that was a very interesting debut moment. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go to EC, back to ECW. We have Sabu. Man, did I enjoy watching him. I've met him on two occasions, saw him live. And he was very innovative for his time, no doubt. Got another Harvey Whippleman. That's what I recognize him as. Maybe he was managing Giant Gonzalez or Bertha Faye at the time. Who knows? But uh, his facials were kind of overdone at the time. But you don't, you don't even have managers anymore. <laughs> oh, well. Not that I watch much modern wrestling to make that comment anyway, but... Here's an awesome dual signed one, I'm sure. I don't, I don't know. I hope I don't already have this one, to be honest with you. Because I went to the sign with Bill Alfonso and Sabu, and it's a great piece. I mean, the price I paid for this was the price I would have paid just to have gotten something signed by either one of them. So these are not super high glossy photos, but that's all right. This is a great edit. An excellent edit. Jimmy Mouth is South Heart, so nice. I think he just turned 80. And, uh, by the way, who knows when this video is going to be uploaded. <laughs> but that's okay. He might be 81 by the time this gets uploaded. Here's another dual sign. We got the Sabu and Sandman. Um, I did go to their signing for Sandman as well. So very cool. And once again, for the price of this, was the price to get one thing signed by either of them. So I had to take advantage of their sale. He signed it right there. So, Virgil, you know, he's a relatively local-ish guy. There's lots of lonely Virgil moments that was happening back in the day. i got some health problems now, but, um, yeah, there's a thing with him in Olive Garden. So that photo, it's like, oh my gosh, yes, that, that has to, that has to go in the collection. ECW Days, Mikey Whipwreck, whom... Apparently back in 2021, this was his last time he was doing a signing, and oh darn it, I'm going to get that photo, and that looks amazing with that blue paint pen on there. Love the ECW inscription. Man, this ECW run is just great. We got Shane Douglas and Francine. I've met both of them, met Shane Douglas multiple times. Cool guy, and Francine was super nice. And both of those colors look great on this photo. Got that for an amazing price as well. Picked up some more Shane Douglas. Why not? He was in the WWF back in the early 90s. I was going to say, I thought I'd buy another one. There he is holding the ECW championship belt. There's another Francine, the Queen of Extreme. Like I said, she was super nice when I met her. Al Snow, who... <laughs> <laughs> with that mannequin head, oh my goodness, the uh, gimmick where he acted like he would communicate with it, and 
all the fans just ate it up. He'd come out to the mat match. Um, oh gosh, the name of that band. Anyway, they would always chant head, 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 head. prodigy. Um, oh crap, I can't think of the name of the song right off the top of my head, but that's okay. Anyway, if you ever find some of his entrances, you, you'd see what I'm talking about. And then we have. Al Snow again as Leaf Cassidy teaming up with Marty Jannetty to form the New Rockers, who was a total parody of the original Rockers, who tried to act like they were cool, but they obviously weren't, which, that's not nice. They had two really good wrestlers, and they just did that to them. Yeah. Starting to get to the bottom of the pile, like I said, there's 18 of them. Lots of dual sign. We got the Brooklyn Brawler. Man, oh man, he... Did his role for a very, very long time. You know, uh, when you're a good jobber, you can do that. It's kind of like a left-handed pitcher in the major leagues. You can do that role for a long time if you're good at it. Same with Barry Horowitz. Though they did give him a little bit of a push during his wrestling days. And oh my goodness, that's it. So yeah, 18 autographed photos with lots of them being multi-signed. Obviously, my favorite has to be the Blue World Order here. Yeah, the blue guy, the blue meanie, big Stevie Cool, Stevie Richards, and yeah, <laughs> Hollywood Nova. Yeah, Nova. They did such a great job with that role. But all right, let me know in the comments below what you think. What was your favorite? Does that bring up any good memories? I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video such as this one on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.